Hi everyone. Today we're going to introduce how to use a console server to control a server device over the network. And this model we're going to display is SN3101. Now let's make sure the connection is good. The connection between the console server and uh, the server device. And make sure we assign an IP to SN3101. Okay. Now on the computer, we can use a small utility. It's called a network device IP installer. Actually, uh, it's a network scanner. It will scan the device of A10 technology. Click enumerate. And now we have the result here. The IP is 192.168.1.44. Let's try to log in. The default username and the password is administrator and password. Now log in. And on the left pane here, click port config and click property settings. The device we were going to control is a serial device and uh, we use the bow rate for uh, 19200. So let's check and make sure the property settings is correct. The 8 bits uh, parity none, star bit is 1 bit, flow control is none. Okay. But one thing we have to pay attention is the operation mode. Please remember to select console management for the controlling and click update. Now let's go to uh, the red axis. Now we see port selection has two listing here. One is for the local and the one is COM1. Select COM1 now. And since the controlling it's easier, I think for me, uh, I'll be better use SSH client. So let's click it and keep it. Double click to run it. Continue. Set and run. Now we see the message here, it says connected to port 1. Okay, now let's type the command. SW space 
two and hit enter. See, this is the message uh, feedback from uh, the device. Actually, uh, if you see any message from the serial device, that means the connection is successful. So let's try again. SW space P1. Enter. Now it says command OK. The reason uh, we got an uh, incorrect message is because the port switching was stayed in port 2. So if you run the same port again, you're gonna see an incorrect message. See how easy it is. And let me explain a little bit for the reason why we need to use a console server. Because a console server can turn the server device to have a network feature. So let's say if the serial device is in a server room or server rack without network, it's very difficult to have someone to operate it because you'll need to actually go there. But with the serial console server, uh, you can uh, manipulate it on your computer and make things much easier. Right, this is all about it. And thank you very much for choosing 18 technology. And have a great day. Goodbye.